Thank you.
Good evening, and welcome to Christmas Eve worship here at Chester Methodist Church. My name is Josh Wortham, and I'm the Director of Music, and I'm delighted that you're worshiping with us on this holiest of nights. Take a few moments to prepare yourself for tonight's worship service. We will take communion this evening, so gather elements from your home. Maybe it's bread, maybe it's crackers, a little cup of juice or some water, elements to symbolize the sacred meal. And find a candle or perhaps the flashlight on your cell phone and maybe dim the lights a little bit in the living room as you watch this service. Now prepare your hearts and your minds as we worship Christ, the newborn King. Jesus Christ is the true reason for hope, peace, joy, and love this season and forever. We light the Christ candle celebrating the end of Advent and the arrival of Christ and Christmas. Let us remember how our Savior, the light of the world, once came as a lowly baby so that the world through him might be saved and how one day he will return in glory. Thank you, God, for your light in this world. Jesus Christ, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness will not overcome it. Amen. gift of Christmas. My goodness, what you have done, fulfilling the promise, sending us the Messiah, having him show us the way, having him, him teach us what we should do, how we should do it. Oh, we, we appreciate so much his even teaching us as his disciples how to pray. You are a great and loving God. And the joy and the warmth and the care and the love that we feel toward you is, it's just not measurable. No matter how many words we say, we cannot fill you with the love that we have in our hearts. As we praise you, as we worship you, it's simply us offering ourselves to you to do our very best to serve you in the land of the living. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the gift of life that you have given us through Jesus Christ and our hope in him and his name and your way unto eternal life. It's in Jesus' name that I would dare to pray to you in this way. And all God's people said, amen.
Hear the word of God from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 52, verses 7 through 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy, for in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Who are we? The modern sentinels. We, the church, are aware of our world's despair and suffering, oppression and hopelessness, sin and death. We too have sighed in despondency, lost heart, and wanted to give up like those who have no hope. But we are the modern sentinels. We know the coming of the Lord in our lives, in our hearts, in our spirits. Like shepherds, On the first Christmas, who heard the angelic sentinels proclaim the birth of the Savior, Christ the Lord. We also have heard many sentinels, choirs, singers, preachers, teachers, children, seniors, young adults, youth, many faithful witnesses, Disciples of the divine faithful witness, the Son of God, who was born in Bethlehem and is born in our hearts, in our church, and will be born in the hearts of many in our community. In plain sight, we see the coming of the Lord. We sing of the Lord's advent. We experience the presence of Christ. We shout to all who hear, your God reigns. We sentinels sing, joy to the world, the Lord is come. Who are we, the modern messengers? We, the church, don't think enough about our feet. When we do think of them, we consider them ugly and foul. Our toenails need cutting. Our calluses need filing. Sometimes we don't think of them until we smell them. But then we hear that our feet are beautiful. Oh, what miles we have put on these feet, walking with Jesus who humbled himself, washed our feet, and made them clean and beautiful. As he continues to walk beside us, he anoints our feet because our feet belong to him, his beloved messengers. We follow in the footsteps of the prophet who brought good tidings to the exiles of Israel, who shared good news to those whose faith had faltered. We track alongside the humble shepherds, though untrained in the art of rhetoric and persuasion, they amazed everyone with the good news of the Savior born. We tread in the path of first missionaries, of whom the apostles said, As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. We are God's 21st century messengers, whose feet are beautiful. We go and tell it in the city. We go and tell it in the county. We go and tell it in the grocery store. We go and tell it in our neighborhoods. We go and tell it in our schools. 
We go and tell it in our workplace. We go and tell it in the fields. We go and tell it on the mountain. Who are we, modern messengers, who announce the gospel of peace? The prophet spoke to war-torn Israel, to the oppressed exiles, whose culture and way of life had been slaughtered. Yes, their sins led to their exile from Israel and their separation from God. But the Babylonians punished them without mercy. The prophet spoke peace to God's people, Israel, saying, Her warfare is ended, her penalty is paid, her sin is pardoned. We modern messengers are not without sin. But by the grace of God and faith in the Son of God, whom was born and lived righteously, died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, was buried and was raised on the third day, and appeared to the twelve and to more than five hundred brothers and sisters. So today the prophets, the angels, and the apostles speak peace to us today, saying, Your penalty is paid, your sin is paid is pardoned. While we were sinners, God showed us mercy. While we hated, God showed us love. While we mourned, God showed us compassion. While we were in despair, God showed us hope. Even in the midst of a sinful, oppressive, and tragic world, we have the peace of Christ. We, the 21st century messengers, have the same calling of old, the call of the prophets and the missionaries, the call of the shepherds and the angels who said glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace, goodwill among people. Having received peace, let us pray that we may faithfully be messengers of the gospel of peace, gospel of joy, Gospel of love, gospel of hope, gospel of Jesus Christ, Savior of the world. Amen.
We are the body of Christ. We are the gathered community of faith during this live premiere. Therefore, let us gather our elements and let us prepare our hearts so that we may partake in the blessing of Holy Communion. Hear this invitation to the Lord's Supper. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That, my friends, proves God's love for each and every one of us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. And now you may say to me, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. And we all say, glory to God. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and our praise. It is right and a good and a joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You created light out of darkness and brought forth life on earth. You formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, and spoke to us through your prophets. In the fullness of time, you gave your only Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Savior. And at his birth, the angels sang, Glory to you in the highest! and peace to your people on earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. As Mary and Joseph went from Galilee to Bethlehem, and there found no room, so Jesus went from Galilee to Jerusalem and was despised and rejected. As in the poverty of a stable, Jesus was born. So by the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave your birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. As your word became flesh, born of a woman, on that night long ago, so. That night in which he gave himself up for us, he took the bread. He gave thanks to you. And he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this 
is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, Jesus took the cup and gave thanks to you. And then he gave it to his disciples. And he said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant. Drink this as often as you will in remembrance of me, for it is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and juice make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, make us one with each other, and make us one in ministry to all the world. Until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. All honor and glory is yours, God Almighty, now and forever. Amen. may now partake in Holy Communion. And now it's time for one of the most beautiful moments on Christmas Eve. Take out your candle or your lighter or your flashlight on your cell phone Dim the lights and light that candle as we sing together, Silent Night. Bask in the warmth of the light, in the warmth of God's holy presence, in the warmth of the grace given to us in the birth of Jesus Christ. Oh, God loves your light. 
receive this blessing. May the Christ, who by his incarnation brought into one all things earthly and heavenly, fill you with inward peace and goodwill. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you. Go in peace and Merry Christmas.